Here at Chalk River, we have a surface science laboratory, and this is one of our instruments. The key thing that makes us unique is our configuration, both people and laboratory setting, that we can handle radioactive materials. And that's how we are unique to Canada. So we can safely handle small pieces of radioactive material because we really are looking at the micro scale or even the nano scale with, with this type of technology. So we're looking at surfaces. So corrosion is a surface problem. You don't corrode from the inside out, you corrode over a surface. We are freeing material from the surface and only the surface layers, very, very fine layers, and we can measure the composition of that material surface. Right? So if we are in a corrosion environment, we can go through oxides, we can look for contaminants in oxide films as we get down to the metal structures. What didn't we anticipate that might be at the root of the cause of these corrosion problems? The stable form of aluminum at the surface of the earth is aluminum oxide. So the aluminum metal will rapidly form an oxide film. What that oxide film does now is it protects the metal from the environment. So you've got a thin oxide film, environment on this side, metal on this side. Our, our eye really doesn't see that because we still see the, the nice metal in behind it. So I have an aluminum canoe at home and it's just fine. And it's sitting out in moist air and everything's going all right. But in this particular case, you know, when we go into the annulus in the NRU, air containing oxygen and nitrogen, radiation, and the moisture lead to the formation of nitric acid, an environment where that aluminum oxide film now is not stable. Right? So as we tend to eat away at the oxide film, the metal underneath becomes exposed to these conditions and susceptible to further corrosion and further oxidation. And that's really what's happening at the base of the NRU vessel. The team that I'm involved with, we're looking into what can we do, how can we neutralize some of these conditions down there, is there anything we can add to the annulus, are there ways that we can improve the conditions in the annulus to manage this problem going forward. We are now amassing knowledge of what we think has happened, and we are collecting remnants or artifacts from the annulus floor. Once we get those, they will be shipped over through our hot cells, cursory examination in the hot cells, sampling, smaller sectioning to bring them up here, and we'll be looking at them in here to confirm our initial thoughts about what's gone on. By bringing a team to this, we'll have many eyes looking at it, and we'll have many minds looking at it, and it will be a rigorous approach. That's crucial because we are under the public microscope, but also we live here, we work here. We're, we're proud of this place. We use NRU for our experiments. This is not the only beam source we have. NRU gives us beams as well, which we use for getting knowledge of, of materials as well. So, so we want NRU to, to succeed as well. The work is interesting. It's very relevant. We power our homes and our industries, nuclear power, our cancer therapies, our medical diagnostics with the isotopes. There's much more to radiation than, than people think about. It's not routine work. It's a great challenge. You, you, you come to work being challenged.